Hello viewers, welcome to the series You the Oracle Expert, where you practice Oracle Database Administration and Unix using Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines. And in this part of the series, we are going to learn how to create a shared folder between the Windows host machine and the Linux guest or virtual machine. So viewers, in the previous part in this series, we installed VirtualBox guest editions on a Linux 7.9 guest or virtual machine named VM Linux One. This is the full screen graphical user interface of that VM, which I am currently logged into as root user. If you have not watched the previous part, I suggest you watch that first as without installing guest editions, you cannot create a shared folder between the host and the guest. Next, we will learn how to create a shared folder. To create a shared folder, first we will create a folder in the virtual machine or the guest machine which will be used as a mount point for the shared folder in the host machine. To do that, let's first run a terminal window, go to system tools. As we are going to use the terminal window going forward very frequently, so let's create a shortcut for that. Simply drag and drop in the desktop and this will be our terminal window. Let's take a look at the file systems available, df-h. We are currently under the home directory of the root user. It's the slash root. We'll go to the root directory and we'll create one folder called, say, vbox sf. Now this will be the mount point for the shared folder. Now go to devices, shared folder, shared folder settings. And in this window, we'll add a shared folder and the folder path will be the path from your host machine. Click on the drop down, click others, and you select a folder from your host machine which will be used as a shared folder between the host machine and the virtual machine. So we'll create one folder which will be used as a shared folder in the host machine with the name say db share and we'll use this folder here to create the share and the folder name will be vb share it will be auto mount and the mount point will be the one the folder that we created in the virtual machine and the name was on the root, it was vbox sf and make it permanent. We are not selecting the read only checkbox here because that will make the file system read only and we don't want that. So click OK and OK. Now we'll simply go to our vbox sf folder in the virtual machine and we can simply see if there is anything right now there is nothing let's create one file so one file with the name t is created now we will go to the host machine and we will see if there is anything in this folder it is under d drive the name was pb share and we see there is a file called now again, we'll create one file in the host machine, say a text file. And this text file will have only one line of text, the box shared folder test. And we'll save it. So this is the new text document created. And there's a backup of the document created automatically by the edit plus application. Now we'll go to our virtual machine and in, in this folder, we should be able to see all these documents created. Now you can see that the new text document.txt is there. Now let's see what is the content. And if you see it's, a, it's having the vbox shared folder testing, this text is there. So this is how you can share files between the virtual machine and the host machine. This is a very convenient feature by which you can move or copy files between virtual and the host machine. 
and you can save some space by doing so. So viewers, please provide your feedback in the comment section of the video and hit the like button if you found it useful. That will mean a lot to me and help grow this channel.